recently I did a series of videos on my shorts and I will link to the, the playlist I made of them. Going over who I felt should be in my top 10 pound for pound boxing list for a period ending September 1st, 2022. When I rank boxers, I go by the following criteria. I'm looking at the last two years. It is not a career achievement. And it's also not a projection of who may beat who. So I may have boxer ranked higher than someone I think, or excuse me, like I may have someone at, at you know, two, but I think someone at four or one or three, whatever, who might beat them. But last two years, not a projection of who beats who, who they fought and how they did against them. I don't often do pound for pound lists. And of course, it's all subjective opinion. Even my criteria is this my subjective opinion of what it should be ranked on. I was inspired by the back and forth thing going on with Devin Haney and the Marine Magazine over him not being ranked and Veselinchenko being ranked despite the fact that Haney is the undisputed champion at lightweight and also the Ring Magazine champion. If you do check out my top 10 list, again, playlist in the description of this video, you'll see that I left both Devin Haney and Vilas Minchenko off my rankings. There's always gonna be someone who may seem deserving, who you may think is deserving, who I don't have on my, my rankings. And there may be some that, that as in your rankings that I don't think should be there, should be there. So it may play out, it may be a, a trade-off. These rankings aren't perfect. I'm not claiming to be the, you know, the definitive pound for pound rankings or, or to be the authority in the rankings. I'm just giving you my personal opinion. Another thing is to be number one in my rankings, you had to have at least won your last fight. So while Canelo Alvarez has been on a terrific run during this two year time frame, and even if the loss to Bevel would be considered without that role of, of mine as number one, I can't have a number one. So for Nell, he isn't number one. While Earl Spence Jr. has not been as active as most of the other boxers who I ranked in this list, I believe his quality opposition and the margin of victory he's had over both Dan Garcia and Ignacio Ugos makes him my number one pound for pound for this time period. Does this mean that I believe that Earl Spence Jr., who I have ranked at number one, is going to come out victorious over Terrence Crawford, who I have ranked at number four? Not necessarily. Remember that these rankings are not based on my opinions of possible future outcomes. And right now, I don't want to go into too many details. I think fights can be very competitive, but I'm leaning towards Crawford in winning that fight. This guy think he has more things he can do in the ring than Spence has he can do in the ring. That's a quick or review of my recent top 10 pound for pound list. Please let me know what you think. Please let me know what your pound for pound is in the comments. Please check out any in screens or cards I put up on this video. Please like, please subscribe. I appreciate you and all the support you give me in watching my videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk soon.